in the studio again today, but not at the wheel. We are going to make butter trays. So Salvatore Pottery is known for this specific style of butter tray. I haven't seen anybody else make it quite like this. Out with one of these dies, this is a handmade die out of a piece of a wood, and we're going to put it in our extruder. So let's do that. This clay is quite sticky, so this is going to be interesting. When you have sticky clay, it uh, the clay wants to break as you're extruding it, so you have to be even more careful. And this is extra sticky. So I'm going to press out a nice long ribbon, and I'm going to try to catch it. So, oh, see there it went. And that happened because the clay is so soft. So let me go again, and I'll only do enough for a couple of other trays. Usually I do a ribbon all the way to the floor and then I cut several pieces before I move on to pulley. So this is what we're starting with. And I start with 10 inches and I measure everyone out to make sure that we have them starting at 10 inches. So get my ruler from the dollar store and we are gonna cut 10 inches off and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a second one off. All right, so my first step, I'm going to take this edge right here and I'm gonna roll it up. So I'm just gonna roll it into itself and there we go. And then I'm going to curve it. So I'm gonna to curve and then two finger pushes right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this handle. And I've never seen anybody ever do this before except for us. So I pull a handle out of this piece. And the first step of pulling this piece is I've got to uh, overlap it like that on itself. And then I start getting a thin piece that's smushed together and I am thinning it out and I'm pulling. So, the things I'm thinking about, I want the tray to be long enough to hold a full stick of butter, and I want this ribbon to be nice and thin because I want to be able to get two fingers in the handle. So, there is, let's see how long this is, just so you know, because I just do it by memory. The pull is about six inches long. All right, so now I'm going to push this forward like that. I'm going to curl under this edge because I think it adds a nice little elegant look. And then I'm going to push it back against itself and that is our butter tray. And you can see where we can get two fingers in there. You have to be careful because the handle, uh, while it's drying, wants to go cockeyed one way, and so you have to go back and straighten them all up. But this is a perfect little butter tray. There it is, and here is its handle. And so I will be putting up, um, if you wait a minute, uh, what the finished product looks like, but I think it has a nice, elegant little handle that tapers and it's perfectly sized and everything you would want in a little butter tray. So that is it for today and we will catch you next time. Thanks for joining us.